Watch out for the birds. Oh, I can't really avoid them. Go away. So before we head out on our adventure today, I thought we'd do a little bit of research to see what we can find around my local area. I want to try and find the nest for Pokemon that I haven't caught yet and hopefully catch this bloody Cyndaquil as well. So as you can see here, I'm on the nest atlas right now for the Silph Road and I've gone ahead and selected 20 different uh, species from Gen 2 and Gen 1. Some from Gen 1 like Zubat because I obviously want to try and get the candy to get Crobat because I haven't found a wild Crobat yet. But anyway, whatever. So I'm going to slide this across and hopefully we'll find some nests in uh, Brisbane here. I'm really hoping Brisbane and Gold Coast is the areas that I can go to. So 152, we've got a Chikorita nest. Now I'm going to be using the combination of these nest atlas reports with a scanning website to see if these nests are true or not. It's the same scanning website that I used a while back. It's a premium service. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to try it out for yourself as well. Just be warned, it is a pay per scan kind of deal. It's not too expensive and it's like the only way to scan in the game right now. So it says right here there is a Chikorita nest in the heart of the Gold Coast. I'm going to quickly check my scanning website. Alrighty, so let's scroll down. Oh, we've got a cool lava over here. That's sick. And it even shows the IVs of the Pokemon as well. Uh, so you can detect dittos. Is that another cool lava? There's a Cyndaquil. Okay, interesting. Anyway, let's keep scrolling down to surfers. Oh, we don't have enough for surfers. All right, so just put an order in for a scan. I'll be able to check that in a bit. But going back up to Brisbane, uh, we've got some nests here that we can work with. So 209, that is Snubble Nest. We've got quite a few here confirmed. Um, obviously, we don't even have anywhere close to a Gramble, so that would be good. Now, this one is actually confirmed. My mate actually posted this one, and that's something we might hit today. It's a mischievous nest in the Daisy Hill Park. We haven't been there for a while. Uh, next up, we got a Totodile Nest, uh, a Hopip Nest, because obviously we need that Jump Bluff, uh, more Stubble Nest, Quillfish Nest, which is interesting. Don't have any Quillfish yet, so that would be great. And I've also heard reports, uh, when I made Sawmy, he caught a Corsola around Sunnybank, so it's around here somewhere. Um, that means that maybe this is on the line where you can catch Corsola. No Corsola Nest, though, of course. Ah, of course. I hate myself. Uh, next up, we got a Cyndaquil nest here south of Brisbane. Now, I don't know if I'm right here, but this looks exactly like the park where I had the Charmander nest a while back. Um, now, we're going to be checking this out hopefully sometime soon before the nest uh, migration changes. But that's something we've got to pay attention to because I don't have even a Cyndaquil. Uh, next up, we got some Swinub nests. So that's going to be interesting. A Shuckle nest, but it's unconfirmed. That would be good. Uh, mischievous, see this is the thing, this is a confirmed mischievous nest and I didn't see any in Brisbane yesterday. I was right there in that spot, so kind of gonna, you know, assume that it's fake. But it does seem to be popping over on the north side of Brisbane. We got a confirmed shuckle nest, uh, some more mischievous, some more totodiles, shuckles, chikoritas, and swine ubs. And yeah, and oh, I thought I saw Stantler somewhere, but no Stantlers. And a chikorita north of Brisbane. So as far as what we're going to check for today's episode, I'm not too sure. Oh wow, all the way in Ipswich, there's a Dunsparce nest as well. That's, woo. See, I only need one of them. So it's like, I go there. This is like a two hour drive out. I go there, I catch one Pokemon, I leave. It's like, oh, I'm not too keen on that. Okay, so my scan has just completed and having a look at it. Yeah, I'd go ahead and say that's a, uh, oh, there's a Crobat right there as well right now. Yeah, I'd go as far as to say that's a Chikorita nest. There's three Chikoritas right there. So looking up and down the coast, um, there's a few patches of Pokemon here. Nothing crazy. There's a good amount here, but I can't find any rares that I'd really want to go out and find. That cool lava's still there. This is that scary place I was talking about. So this is that park that was confirmed as a Cyndaquil nest, but I don't see any Cyndaquils there. So this is really invaluable because I would have gone all the way out there looking for Cyndaquil. And there's still Chikoritas there, but I think this is a fake report. Funny enough, there is one Mischievous there, but I had this scanning site yesterday and I did not find any Mischievous in Brisbane at all, so I don't know about that one. I think I may have found myself a Giraffe Rig nest here. Two Giraffe Rigs right next to each other. I didn't see that every day. Anyway, we're going to head out somewhere and hopefully find some new Pokemon. Let's get it. Ah, uh, Lucky, where are we going? Uh, look, mate, today we're hopefully going to be heading off to the Gold Coast. We did see a uh, big Chikorita nest there, so hopefully going to get that down. We've got 47 candies right now. Hopefully going to get that somewhere, I'm thinking, high 70s by the end of the day. Uh, I'm going to be stopping over at Southport and a couple other places. Check out the nests, see what we got, and hopefully hatch them. We've got a 10k, third, uh, 300 meters off a 10k. Hopefully get a Mareep or a Lava Tire out of that one. And uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing, Jay. I said, where are we going? Surface paradise. <laughs> Come on, surface paradise. Get the chikoritas. <laughs> Listen next time, please.
All right, we've sent Jay off on a mission. He's going to get Bayleaf. This is what happens when I'm driving. I make my friends catch my Pokemon. You're next. <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen our friend Jay. Um, we don't know what he's doing or if he's caught it, but we can only hope that the focus will focus. I did see an air fist. I think we may be successful in our mission here. He's coming in hot. That's a nine banger, boys. Nine? Nine candies. No, it's meant to be 12. 10. I don't know why it wasn't 10, but it was nine. Give us the phone. Yes, it was 12. But you caught him with a pinout berry? Yeah. Yep, 57. It was 10. Nice work, Jay. Nice work. Getting that meganium. Nice way to set the mood on our way to a chikorita nest. We pulled over just for that one. Alrighty, guys. Big things just happened. So he gets out of the car. Big things. So we were just driving along, and uh, out of nowhere, I was like, Jay, check the Pokey VS radar. I think. So having a look on screen right now, this is where we are. We're right on top of a Gligar. We haven't seen one of these guys just yet. Um, so unfortunately there, we just had it up on the map. Um, I think I'll show the footage. We had a Gligar right next to us, but we pulled over on the wrong side of the road, and it's like a big two-lane thing, so we couldn't just get across easy. By the time we got over, Gligar despawned, uh, plus we got a 10k egg loaded queued, so we got that as well. Hopefully we'll catch Gligar later on. I think Gligar is actually a 10k egg, so we could hatch him in a bit. We'll see how we go. Cash in hand. I'm trying to pay a parking because last time, well not the last time, but a couple times we've gotten tickets. It's not fun. And all the times have been Taylor's fault. All right, so this is our first stop, Southport. We're gonna go for a bit of a skate, see if we can find 10K egg first up. What's it gonna be? Please be a new one. It's that Gligar I'm gonna just hit so much fans. Oh, it's a milk tank. Oh. Hell yeah, see this brand new Pokemon, and he's like real rare. I haven't seen him in the wild at all. He's like a legitimate 10K, like hard Pokemon find. Um, so he is CP 1200, has Taco and Gyarable. Not sure if that's the best um, moves, but uh, yeah, 1300 CP brand new Pokemon, the Pokedex, and we got a 2K as well. Oh, if we can match it back to back, give us a Cyndaquil, Mischievous, that'd be sick, because you can get Mischievous out of here. Togepi, damn, remember, remember when we got our one in Japan? Oh, that was lit. That was lit. Uh, now they're not so lit. All right, we got a 5K as well. We got helicopters every time, man. Ah, uh, yeah, we got a couple 5K, Sneasel, yeah, really not that great for us. So many of those the other day at uh, Paradise Point. And then another one, Shuckle, Dunsparce, all my boys, where you at? I need you right now. Star you, no! I think you get Stantler as well out of these. And this will be the last one in 2K, so it's good we're actually here. We're here to fill up a poke stops and then head over to the Gold Coast to find this chick reading nest. It's gonna be a diglet to wrap us off, but we got the 10K, so that's all that really matters. And uh, now we have, oh, and Love Tough found a candy, hell yeah. Uh, but nothing really gone for a while. We got a 10K that's starting to go, and a 5K that's nearly there. Doing? Oh my god. Wait, let's try. Are you ready? Are you ready? Hold on to it. <laughs> yeah, not so successful. Anyway, still mess around. There's a chicory and a toad out this way. We're gonna head out. Alright, ready? Live adventures. It looks just like the trailer, you know? You got toad on the beach. It looks so good. Toad out, Cyndaquil, easy candies. Cyndaquil? Yeah, no, not Cyndaquil. That's a Cyndaquil? Yeah. Chikorita, total out. I wish. Absolutely bangs. Okay, so we're trying something right here now. I don't really know how this is meant to work out. Got someone on behind and in front. This is, are you, are you guys ready? It's, it's acceptable. Gotta get behind. <laughs> oh no, about to run off the road. You got it? Alright, we're putting juice in now. Are we good? We still good? Nah, dude. We still good? Going a bit faster. All the bumps are so much. We're going faster. All right, we're max speed now. We actually? Yeah, we're max speed. Struggling. Oh, dude, these spots. <laughs> I don't know what max speed is. <laughs> Jay, he's made it. Yeah, that should have ended way worse than what it did. Oh, don't try this at home or at the park. 
All right, I'm really glad we came to Southport. A Maripa's just shown up nearby. She's getting a recording software ready. Jay, get ready to get on the bike. I'm not the bike, the skateboard, because we don't have bikes. I'm ready. All right, Marip nearby. He's at like this little sand boat. He's just down here. I really do not want to miss this guy. First Marip we've seen yet. Let's go, Jay. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, if we miss this Marip, I'm really sold. Watch out for the birds. Oh, I can't really avoid them. Go away. Oh. Sorry, did you? Right here. I'm waiting. Hopefully, there's a little bit of delay. There he is. Oh, yes. Wild Marie. I can't believe it. We have not seen any of these guys yet at all. 248 CP. We're gonna go pin out various things. We're gonna need these later on. All right, it's a bit windy out right now. Apologies. Seems to be windy every time we go out. Okay, he's only like really easy to catch, they have like green rings around him. So hopefully we can get him with a pin out barrier and ultra ball. One bounce, two bounce, three bounce. That's six candies on Marie. Whew. Needed that. So I'm gonna switch between him and Lavatar and walking them. Uh, you get these from 10kx as well, but like obviously that's not happened just yet. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, put him in right there, and perfect. Alright, now let's go ahead and get these poke stops and Fingers crossed, get an Evo item. So no, we're just here taking a little bit of a chill pill and uh, realize that I have enough Wooper candy to go ahead and get myself a brand new Pokemon. I've already caught two new Pokemon today, Mareep and Milk Tank. Both start with an M. Uh, this one, unfortunately, does not start with an M. It starts with a Q. So we're going to be getting our first Quagsire here. Uh, I've seen a lot of these wild, but I haven't been able to catch one. Uh, so we're just going to evolve it instead. Uh, this, this will put us up to 203 unique Pokemon caught. Um, still no Cyndaquil, still no Mischievous, and still just a bunch of single ones like Stantler, Dunsparce, uh, Shuckle, like all these guys. But there we go. We're going to head, put them on the Pokedex. We got Lucky Egg Pop, so we got double XP for that guy. And now we have a look at what we've got. I've caught so many Totodiles while I've been here. So it's like a mixed Totodile uh, Chikorita nest. So we might not even make it out to the Gold Coast or Surface Paradise because it's pretty good here at the moment. But yeah, 46 Totodile candies and 63 Chikorita candies so far. This is important. I broke away from the group, went on a mission to go do some Pokey Stops. Everybody, have a look what I'm about to show you. These are my items, and if I scroll all the way down, Metal coat. Sunstone. A sunstone. I don't know how bad the audio is right now, but a sunstone. So that means we can get either Sunflora or Blossom. I'm not going to do it in today's episode. Let me know down below what you think we should do. Sunflora or Blossom. Let me know. At, or tweet me. But we got one. We finally got one. Luck's been pretty good so far. Can the luck continue? We got a 2K on the roll. We're on the way to a snubble, and it's gonna be a ghastly. Looks like the luck does not continue. But there is my snubble. Here we are. This is the face of utter disbelief. This is the same pokey stop that I just got a sunstone at. This one, right here, same one I got the last one. Items, I don't believe it. We got another one, we got another one. Both. Evolution. So basically, you're cheating. So it's like that ad for that Mexican taco thing. Cash it's like, what can I Why not have both? So, scratch that comment because we're getting both. But we won't do it today's episode because we've already got too much. Ever. I can't believe it. Two sunstones. So if you've been to Southport, this stop right here where that pole is is giving out sunstones for free. Jay, get your phone out and get a free sunstone. I actually want to test to see if this is like a sunstone hotspot or something. I deleted the app. Well, kill yourself. <laughs> I would love to know where this fam is getting these Tyranitars from because I would so much love to have one. But I realized yesterday that just viewing it in the gym actually gives you that Pokedex entry. As you can see, we've got one seen more than caught. And there he is right there. So you don't actually have to battle them to get them to be seen, which is interesting. I like these kind of egg live hatches, mixing it up every now and again. And uh, this time it's gonna treat me with a tentacle. Very cool, very cool, very cool. I think they're arguing over who broke the skateboard. It wasn't me, boys. All right, so 
we are going to check to see if we can get a third sunstone in a room from the porch. This is the place that hands out sunstones for free and I don't get triggered. We got so lucky the first time around and the second time around I wasn't recording. The third time I actually decided to record doesn't treat me to a sunstone. So maybe it's got some kind of weird thing where it's like some Pokestops give off some different stones or evolution items. It's a bit weird, a bit weird indeed, but uh, I'm not complaining. But now if I get more sunstones, I'm gonna be tilt because I don't, I don't need them anymore. That'd be real tilt. Lachlan, where are we going? So we just got finished up at Southport, very successful trip, two sunstones, uh, two brand new Pokemon, Miltank and a Mareep and a Quagsire, a very, very good run out there. Now we're heading off to the Gold Coast, check out this Chikorita nest, and uh, then we'll probably call it a day. Service Paradise, and a rare Pokemon to go with it. No day! It's just proof that this place is pretty much a Chikorita nest. Hey David, do you like Chikorita? No. Too bad, look to your right. Wow. Kiss him, kiss him. give him a kiss. Oh, oh my God! Jay, what did I just say? Lachlan said, I'm not going to hatch these eggs on camera because I never get anything good. I hate my life. I actually hate my life. Mischief is out of a 2k egg, who would have guessed? Nearly a thousand CP. Oh, brand new Pokemon. Um, not too bad, what are we up to now? 204 caught, 205 seen. And that's a lesson to always record your egg catches. Major key, major key, major key. Larvatar. We gotta turn around. <laughs> Hell yeah. This is like some empty center on the Gold Coast, which we're going through to get to the Lavatar on the other side. But we make it. This place is. Find out next episode. And we have rocked up. That is a prime little Lavatar here. Now we've walked and gotten about 3Ks off of this guy, so if we catch this with a uh, pin out barrier, it's gonna be kind of difficult, hoping that the metals come through that we've already got on this pretty clutch. Uh, we're, we're gonna try and go pin out all the way. This is the first wild Lavatar I've seen. I've seen a few Dratinis, but Lavatar not so much. There's a Chikorita. So many Chikoritas around out and about today in Surface Paradise. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode up right there. I hope you guys have gotten to enjoy. If you guys have, let us know a like down below. Absolutely insane amount of awesome stuff. And uh, after I catch this Chikorita, we'll be very close. I think we'll be up to nearly high 70s, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, actually, wait, I want to catch this first. And 75. So mid 70s, we'll take it. And done. What is that? Vlogging for what? Uh, she's playing Pokemon. I'm mad. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's get out of here. Final Pokedex 204 out of 205. Liddy, done. See you next time.